What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Now, check it out. So, for years, I've been having issues with digestion. Irritable bowel syndrome. I kind of kept it to myself, because, well, let's be real here, you know, I'm a diet guy. You know, I, um, I didn't want people to think that my diets were causing irritable bowel syndrome. I didn't want people to know, I just, I felt kind of, I felt kind of um, uh, embarrassed of the situation and I tried for years to fix it. I tried cutting out green fibrous vegetables. I tried cutting out coffee. You guys know I love, I even make coffee. We have Pachamama Coffee and Ritual. I thought maybe it was my supplements. I thought maybe it was the BHBs in, um, in Ritual AM. Maybe it was the stimulants and pre-workout, so I'd cut those out, add them back in. I, I'm, when I talk exclusionary, I'd literally go for weeks and weeks on end to try and fix it. I tried different diets. I went on here and I said I'm trying to diet. Gotta admit, part of it was just to try it so I know what it's like, but also I feel bad because like the carnivore diet, I was literally shitting water, but I think that was mainly because of my irritable bowel syndrome. How it would work is I'd eat. Literally five to 20 minutes later, I'd have liquid poop, liquid. It's been going on since I was in my 20s. I believe it was brought on by stress, by whatever. I've always had issues with digestion. I've always been the first one in the family to get stomach flus. When I used to compete, I used to get a really bad stomach. You know, I'd get distended. I was accused for years of having GH gut, even though one, I don't take GH, and two, well, you know, I, I don't think my, gut, my gut's that big, but I'd have distension from meals. So I'd wake up in the morning, my stomach would be like this, and then gradually throughout the day, it would expand. Thought it was food allergies. Got food allergy tests, I'm good to go. You know, I thought it was lactose intolerance. Nope. Because I was able to eat pizza and be fine, but then it's weird. I'd even cut my own whey protein out. So through years of looking this up, through years of delving into research on irritable bowel syndrome, about four weeks ago, I finally was having enough. I'm coaching now and I can't go in the middle of a coaching session and use the bathroom. Right? And it was starting to irritate me. So I literally went online and I spent two, three hours researching everything it can be. I'd already spent hours, probably days total, researching this. I went to doctors. Doctors had nothing for me. Then I read a few articles on treatments for irritable bowel syndrome and a lot of them went over stuff I've already done. Cut out vegetables, you know, follow the FODMAP. And I've tried FODMAP and it did nothing for me. In fact, foods that are good on the FODMAP, which are basically foods that are easy to digest, didn't work well for me. They actually were sometimes worse, all right? So I found a recommendation that literally changed my life. And I'm saying this, I have no, I have no money in this. I'm not going to come out with this because I can't. Um, if I could, I would because it worked. I sell digestive enzymes and prebiotics. I could tell you those cured it and lie to you, but I'm not going to do that because that's a really douchebag thing to do. I read an article about Imodium AD. Imodium AD. Imodium AD is an anti-diarrheal. And what it does, it lessens the contractions of your digestive muscles. So what would happen is, and this is my self-diagnosis because these so-called diet, I'm sorry, these so-called doctors, these so-called experts, these digestive experts couldn't give me a reason. This is my own research. This is why sometimes when my doctor said so, research what else is out there because I didn't take my doctor's word for it. Because of that, for the last month, I've been normal for the first time in probably 20 years. Literally going to the bathroom instead of eight to 12 times a day, one to two times a day. I don't wanna to get too graphic, but it was at the point where I got used to having hemorrhoids and blood coming in my stool. It was horrible. I'm not complaining, I have a blessed life, I'm healthy, but imagine a guy with perfect blood work, perfect health, 
can run, can do everything, can weightlift, can, but has hemorrhoids, has a sore butthole, and cannot go more than an hour or five minutes after eating without pooping in his pants. I have literally soiled my underwear. It is what it is. Emodium AD. Emodium AD. I take one two milligram capsule in the morning and one two milligram capsule at about noon. And if my stomach is bothered, if I ate something that bothers me, I take another dose at around four to five or as needed. I have been cured. 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 When I say cured, I mean cured. My stools are perfect. My stools are formed. There is no more liquid coming out. I know this is graphic, but what other way are you going to talk about curing irritable bowel syndrome than talking about pooping? This is very, this is even harder for me to talk about than when I almost screwed up my marriage and went to counseling, right? Because I was a dick. This is actually harder because I'm talking about a grown ass man who you guys have been watching for the, since 2012 is when I started going hard on YouTube. Talking about shitting himself. That same man who's been on here talking about being alpha was literally shitting in his own underwear. That was me. So I've looked around, went to Meyer, Target, Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, looking for the best deal because I have to take this every day. It lasts forever. The best deal, it is Io, Io, <laughs> Ioparamide hydrochloride is the name of the ingredient. And it is Target's Up and Up brand right? There's Target's up and up brand. This entire 48 cal, this lasts me 24 days. This is like three bucks. Emodium AD's name brand is like 24 bucks for the same amount. Walmart's brand is like eight to nine bucks. Meyer's brand is like 10 to 11 bucks. CVS like 12 bucks. But Target is the place I got this. I'm not suggesting everybody who ever gets the shits goes and buys Emodium AD. What I am what I am recommending, what I am recommending is that if you think you have and you've tried everything else, irritable bowel syndrome, and I don't care if this helps one person out of however many thousand views it gets, try this. If you go to your doctors, if you go to this, they give you all these different things. Literally, this little tablet right here. This little tablet right here has cured my irritable bowel syndrome. You're not going to see any link below for my affiliate program with Target. You're not going to see anything like that. My life is literally bettered because I found this. And I'm just sharing it with you guys. It took me literally over a dozen years. I don't even remember. I've been shitting my pants for so long that I don't remember how long, I even got another confession to make, man. In order to make sure that I had nothing in my system, I've been chronically using suppositories for the past few years. Because I, before I'd go out somewhere, I'd use a suppository to make sure my entire digestive tract was empty. Why? If it's empty, that means I won't have the urge to poop myself because there's nothing in there. It still didn't work 100%, but it made it better. So for the last four weeks, I've not used one suppository. I have not done anything differently except take Imodium AD. In fact, my diet's become more varied. If you notice, I've done a lot of burger reviews. Why did I never eat cheese on my burgers? I thought I was lactose intolerant. I wasn't. I had irritable bowel syndrome. I thought I had food allergies. I didn't. I thought I could only take so many vegetables. I didn't. I tried the carnivore diet. It wasn't that. It wasn't the veggies. It wasn't the friggin' uh, oxalates or whatever that are causing it. I tried going vegan. That didn't work. I tried my own diet. Nope. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, there's fucking nothing you can do. Nothing. What I had is literally when I ate, my stomach muscles contracted so fast and violently that it caused diarrhea. That's all I can gather from the data I've read. And I read data for a living. Like it's part of what I do. So it pisses me off. It took me this long, but 38 years old, I still have over another life to live of this length. I'm hoping. Now I can live it without shitting my pants. Anyway, guys, if you had any issues with this, let me know. Comment down below. Again, man, it sucks. But if this helps just one person, it's worth it. That's not a game.